good afternoon everybody i am super grateful and thankful to have each and every single one of you here this is this is such a blessing to have you guys with me thank you for showing up thank you for enjoying what i do thank you for the beautiful comments it means a lot to me and i will never let you guys down it is march 18th 2023 in the big bear california area and this is the calm before the storm <laughs> So it looks like we could possibly get up to a couple feet of snow, you guys. Um, everything begins tomorrow evening. It's gonna be kind of light on and off tomorrow through most of, of, of Monday, just on and off. But then um, it's gonna get pretty crazy late Monday into the whole day Tuesday. Um, as I said, we have a, a potential for two feet of snow. Um, once again, Tuesday is going to be the biggest day of the event. So those of you who want to come up here, get your buns up here now. Get up here now. Get here safely. There's probably a lot of places to rent. I think you guys will be good. So I just really hope that you guys do what you can to come up. We need you to come up here. We need you to come up here. Spread your happiness, your joy, because most people, when you guys come up here, are happy because you're on vacation, enjoying new scenery, a new environment. And uh, yeah, so... Um, that's what's going on with our weather, you guys. So the reason why, for those of you who are fairly new, uh, we do this video, the calm before the storm videos, is to show you guys what the town looks like just before the storm hits. And then when we do the aftermath video, it's a cool way to compare and, and, and contrast basically what the town looked like before the storm and what it looks like after the storm. So we are going to do a upper moon ridge drive really quickly we're going to drive by bear mountain as well um also i got my my other subaru back that's what we're, we're, we're driving right now this is my my 2019 cross trek oh yeah oh yeah and i am really looking forward to uh taking this car in in the storm um as well as tomorrow i'm getting the snow tires for this car put on and I'm probably not going to be driving the new Subaru for a long time because I already put a lot of miles on it. It's not a lease. It's it, it's a purchase, but I want to keep my mileage down and just tear this car up as much as I can. This car, I can't believe this is the same car that I crashed. It's It, it, it just looks brand new. It's so awesome. Um, so, yeah, we're getting the snow tires put on. Not tomorrow, Monday, um, before the heaviest part of the snowstorm comes. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a good time. And here is beautiful Bear Mountain, you guys. Wow, it's so clear up there, it's so pretty. There's no one behind us, so we're just gonna... Oh, I, I, I really love this view right here. We're just gonna zoom in real quickly. As I said, there's no one behind us. Just beautiful. Okay, let's take off. We're gonna head up into Upper Moon Ridge. Get some nice views of bear. Look at how little these snow piles are now. They've just diminished significantly. All right, we got someone crossing the street in front of us, so we are going to let them pass. Yeah, this is Bear, you guys. This is my favorite ski resort in the mountain range. But I think it's because of the nostalgia. When I was a little kid, this is where we would go skiing. From Newport Beach, we would drive up here, stay at our house in Lake Arrowhead, and then drive here early in the morning to get here for opening. That's another parking lot for Bear across there. It, it looks busy, you guys, but I guarantee you it's not as busy as it looks. Because we have other big parking lots huge satellite parking lots for these resorts and uh they are not too occupied today which means guys come up here come up here i'm super thankful to have you guys here i i love it when you guys come up here once again you guys bring smiles from ear to ear you guys you guys really make me happy when you come up here because you guys are so grateful to be here So to the left is the golf course, the snow course right now. Oh, 
it's so beautiful. But yeah, this is gonna be a great compare and contrast from the calm before the storm to the aftermath video because we're gonna get, as I said, a decent amount of snow. This is gonna be our second biggest storm of the season, you guys. And we're gonna turn right here on Sheephorn. Sheephorn, Sheephorn, Sheephorn. Potholes everywhere. Look at this, those people sledding over there. That's a great, great, this whole little gully area. This is one of the places on the free sledding locations that I refer you guys to. It goes all the way basically through all, all of Moon Ridge in, in the middle here. It's just a, a big runoff area. But when there's snow, it's, it's, it's very safe for, for the children, you guys. I don't want any of your kids to have any issues up here. I just want them to have a blast, have a great time. So I tried to give you guys the best locations. Obviously, remember, you're in a neighborhood here. So don't park in someone's driveway. Find a safe place to park. Uh, make sure there aren't any no trespassing signs and then my goodness have a blast i get a lot of heck you guys from showing you guys uh these spots this is calusa street so we just turned right from Sheephorn onto calusa and you can see that gully over there that whole area it's just up and down so your kids can can gain some really good speed and then they will be slowed down going up the other side. You got some black diamonds over here, some, some green circles, some blue squares. Yeah. For all experience levels of the children's sledding. Wow, there's, it's just, it's incredible to me, you guys, how much snow was up here, and now it's, I mean, look at that side of the road. There's so many just bare patches. It's just amazing to me. But anyway, how are you guys doing today? Leave me a comment. Let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know if everything in your life's going well. If you have any suggestions for me, don't ever hesitate. I, I, I Trust me, guys. I do the best, the best I can for you guys. I really, really do. And there have been so many requests and... It gets a little difficult because it's just so much that I end up forgetting some of the things that you guys asked me to do. And I promise you, I'm not doing that on purpose. I want to make sure that I can do everything I can for you guys. The love and support that you guys show me is, is so beautiful. And I want to reflect how I feel by, you know, saying how high when you guys say jump. Okay, we're going to turn right here on Canyon Crest. So we turned... We were on Sheephorn, we turned right on Calusa, and now we're gonna turn right on Canyon Crest. This is just a little short cut through the streets to get up to the very upper portions of Moon Ridge. And a few weeks ago, I couldn't even see these houses because these snow piles were so high. Right now, up here, it's 47 degrees. I don't know if you guys can tell, 47 degrees. This is Wolf Road. We're gonna take Wolf all the way up. We're turn left on Wolf from Canyon Crest. I know I've had a few requests to drive down all of Wolf. And once again, guys, I'm, I really am doing the best I can. I don't want anyone taking it personally if I space it. It's absolutely nothing personal. I beat myself up about it because I know there's a lot of spots that I am forgetting. Um, I've been trying to screenshot some of the messages that are sent to me just so I can look back in my photos and read it and see, okay, they want me to go down here, they want me to go down there. So that's what I would like to, you know, always do and be efficient for you guys. Yeah, as a matter of fact, let me get my phone and check out what it's saying about the weather i will give you the exact forecast and guys always check out ben's weather b-e-n-s w-e-a-t-h-e-r.com 
He is, oh, look at that view of the lake. He is our meteorologist up here. Um, he's been doing it for over 30 years. He is very, very, very respected. Such a great, great dude. I have so much love for him. He supports our channel also, you guys. Um, and it just makes me feel good that someone of his stature, the type of person that I really look like really look up to actually likes and appreciates what I do. It's, it's such a beautiful feeling. Um, but yeah, so let's see here. We're going to pull over here. There's no one anywhere behind us, anywhere, nowhere near. So I promise you guys, I'm, I'm not being a hypocrite. I'm pulled over as far as I can. Come on phone. Okay. So Monday, this is what we got going Monday. Tomorrow, it changed from a little snow tomorrow night to not really anything. But Monday night, cloudy with snow, snow showers developing after midnight, low 27, chance of snow 70%, about one inch. So check this out. When we go to the next day, Tuesday, bam! Look at that. Five to eight inches in the morning and then five to eight inches in the evening. That is my, my baby sending me a text. And then on Wednesday, one to three inches during the morning and in the evening afternoon, you know, maybe half an inch to an inch and that will be it for that. But yeah, so if, if everything works out and as, as I said, it might not look like two feet of snow that I just showed you, but Ben Brissy from Ben's Wither, <laughs> Ben's Wither just contacted me. Uh, about 30 minutes ago telling me that it looks like the snow snow totals are going to be ramped up a bit and it wouldn't be too too crazy to see two feet of snow out of this and as i said that that would equal our 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 second biggest storm of the season i hate seeing those old those older folks shoveling, that's just not. Oh, man. I didn't have to be somewhere in 30 minutes for work. I would definitely stop. I know that sounds like hyperbole, but it's the absolute truth, you guys. I don't like seeing that because I, I, I don't want anyone having a heart attack. Because this snow is really heavy right now really heavy but look at how little we have left up here this is upper moon ridge you guys in the videos i showed you during the last big snowstorm where i was saying the snowiest part of big bear i mean look at it now unreal incredible i mean look at this it's just nothing left For road conditions, you guys, I always suggest you, uh, on the day you plan on coming up here, if, if it is stormy out, make sure you call 800 Caltrans. And it's an automated system, super easy to use, very helpful. Or download from your app store uh, the Caltrans Quick Map app. Or go on Google and just type in Big Bear Road Conditions. And there you go. A lot of people ask me, like, uh, what do you think the roads are gonna be like on Tuesday and I will have zero clue and zero clue what they're going to enforce so that's why you have to do it the day of because the day before the storm it'll still probably say no change required um, all vehicles okay so that will ch that that can change daily and I just I never want to give you guys any incorrect info um, I always suggest you carry tire chains with you you might as well spend the money, you guys. Get a good good set of chains. Keep them in your trunk. Just out of the way, you know. But it's always good for those of you who enjoy coming up here to have a set of tire chains in, in your vehicle. And then as well, you want to make sure that you have some blankets in the car just in case you get stuck. Have some blankets in the car. Enough food and water to last you about a week 
just in case you're not going to be stuck that long but it's better to be over prepared than having to stress out and then just really worry about stuff so make sure you guys have plenty of food and water blankets obviously you'll be bringing warm clothing with you i'm assuming so have plenty of warm clothing let two or three people know where you're going and when to expect to hear from you um and then if, if they don't hear from you by that time um if they can't contact you then to alert the authorities it's really important you guys your guys's lives are super super valuable um, and one of the most important things that I always suggest as well, you guys, is let's say you get to the bottom of the mountain range about to start heading up and, and you still have like over three quarters of a tank of gas available in your car. Fill your car up anyway. I always suggest you guys at the very bottom of the mountain, fill your vehicle up, top it off. Because um, once again, if you do get stuck in, in good sized storms up here, you guys, it'll take sometimes AAA more than 24 hours to get to you. So um, if you're stuck in a horrible spot and you cannot get out, um, just please make sure you have a full tank of gas. I just want you guys to have an amazing time up here, especially we're, we're coming towards the end of our, our, our ski season, not necessarily the snow season, uh, maybe five years back, I, I recorded on May 31st, almost June, May 31st, it snowed like two or four inches, I can't remember, but we can get snow. They've recorded snow here 10 months out of the year um, in the record books. I think July and August are the two months that they don't have any snow on, on record. That doesn't mean that it hasn't happened. Um, we do get freezing temperatures year around, so you can see 32 degrees all 12 months out of the year. That is on record, that has happened. Um, in June, we get lots of freezing temperatures still. Um, at least last season, I believe we did. But once July and August come, once again, those, those are the months that are not on record for having any snow. And uh, since I've lived here, I don't think we've had any freezing temps. I, I think in mid-July, one, one year, one of the nights got down to like 34 degrees which is really cold for that time of year here. But yeah, guys, once again, look at how little snow we have left. This is a really snowy part of the Moon Ridge area, okay? Doesn't get a whole bunch of direct sunlight, um, so the snow isn't gonna melt as quickly. But it's 48 degrees up here. Um, and yeah, guys, we are looking forward to this storm. All you snowboarders and skiers, get up here. Come up here, have a great time. You guys are gonna get some really nice fresh snow. Um, this is, I'm gonna say that this is gonna be the, the last good storm of the season. And uh, I really want you guys to really enjoy yourselves. Don't forget, it's, it's, the end, it's the end of our season. The ski resorts are probably gonna close. They usually close April 1st, but there's been talk that they're gonna try it and stay open another week, maybe two weeks, but we will see. We will see. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but keep keep your fingers crossed. And you can always go on to uh, like the Bear Mountain or Snow Summit Google page or web page. Find it on Google, and then uh, it'll give you information on when they're planning on closing, just so you guys can make your trips accordingly. All right, so we are back on Wolf Road. Now we're turning left on, uh, what is this, Villa Grove. Villa Grove. And after this storm, we're gonna take a walk down by the lake as well, not just to a specific spot and stand there and record for a few seconds. We're gonna actually walk right, ar right around the lake, not around the whole lake, but just do maybe a 15 minute walk. Um, I need the exercise as well, and it'll be beautiful. It'll be beautiful. Oh, look at my beautiful wife, she's so gorgeous. This was our wedding day. Oh man, she's, she's so amazing. She's actually in Whittier right now, visiting family. He's dropping off the dogs because we are going to be staying at a resort up here for a few nights. 
and we're going to check in right before the storm so I can set up the time lapse at the resort. It's right on the lake too, so it's going to be an awesome time lapse. I'm hoping I can set it up properly and do everything right. So I want you guys to get some other good good perspectives. I've had a time lapse running for the past week already as well, but at a much uh, uh, lower frequency of uh, capture rate. So basically for the last week, it's only like a minute and a half long for the time lapse <laughs> as we speak right now. So I was gonna keep that going, I think through the end of the month, just so we can see the snow melt, this big storm come through, add some more snow, and then just see how fast it melts. I think it's gonna be a very in interesting video to see that, I'm really looking forward to it. So it'll probably be a three week long time lapse, which should only last maybe five minutes. But I'm excited. All right, right now we are on Butte, you guys. B-U-T-T-E. And then when we come up here to the stop sign, it's back to Villa Grove. I call this Lower Villa Grove, but it's, yeah, it's Villa Grove again. Villa Grove is everywhere here in Upper Moon Ridge. And the reason my vehicle is so loud, you guys, is because I had to have the muffler taken out to make room for my train horns. Yes, I am a child. I get it. But one of these days I'll honk that train horn for you guys when it's necessary. I'm try I, I try not to be too annoying. When I first got it, I had a lot of fun with people. They didn't think it was fun though. And uh, yeah, I just don't like being that guy. I've, I've grown up just in the past few years. But I'll tell you what, it's the loudest thing ever. Ever. It's so loud. All right, we are on Vine. Now we're gonna turn left on McAllister. If you turn right, this is McAllister. If you turn left, it's called Cougar. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now, going down Cougar, kind of getting into Lower Moon Ridge. Uh, on a parallel journey. Straight ahead, that's Snow Summit. You can see a couple of the runs up there. Hang on. Forgive me about all the reflection in this windshield. I'm doing the best I can to make the camera angled perfectly so we get as little reflection as possible. Yeah, you guys. If you guys like what I'm doing, do me a favor. Hook me up with a like, a subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Um, I do work very hard for this. Um, I put myself in pre precarious positions all the time. I use a lot of gas. <laughs> it would really help me out. It would really help me out. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate that. And then obviously, uh, well not obviously, but where I do the calm before the storm videos, you guys, I typically like during the storms to drive through those same same locations, at least just at least one time, just so we can see the difference and what it's approaching. The aftermath driving up there is going to be awesome. But anyway, here we go. We are at. We are in Lower Moon Ridge. There's a big satellite parking lot for Bear Mountain right there. So that that is, okay, that parking lot I didn't notice, that's full as well. But the slopes didn't look like they were that full, you guys, which is pretty awesome. Even though there's so many cars. All right, back on Moon Ridge Road. We're gonna cut through this street called Evergreen, take it to Summit Boulevard, come down Summit and back down Brownie Lane to get to Moon Ridge and we will be kaput with our video. The calm before the storm. I can guarantee you we are going to be getting issued a winter storm warning, but the winter storm watch will probably come into play in the next 12 hours. So I will be posting that on the community page. And uh, as I said, I, I can't stress it enough to you guys, 
Try to get up here if you can. Try to come up here. We welcome you. I welcome you for sure. Like, what, without you guys, I don't live here. I don't get to live here. And I am beyond grateful for you guys because you guys come up here and spend money and create the economy up here. And I'm not too dumb to not realize that, <laughs> you know? I might not be the sharpest tool in the shed. I might just be a tool, but at the same time, I really appreciate y'all. I don't know what I would do if I had to move back down the mountain. I'd probably go absolutely bat crazy, you know? I do not want to go bat crazy. So we are on Evergreen, as I said. We're getting close to Summit Boulevard. After this stop sign, it'll be the next stop sign. We'll turn left on Summit. Maybe turn left. I wonder if they'll let me drive through the parking lot at Snow Summit. They probably won't, but that's okay. It doesn't hurt to try. Snow Summit looks packed, you guys. I'm looking over to my left right now. Oh yeah, it is so packed. Look at the, there's so, there's big lines over there. It's 49 degrees right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, yeah, 49 degrees. Once again, we're in my 2019 Crosstrek. It's a, it's a beautiful beast. It's lifted. The snow tires will be put on tomorrow. Um, thankfully, I don't have to buy snow tires. I have had them sitting at my friend's automotive shop, automotive repair shop, because he switches them out every uh, six months or so. So I just got to go get them put on. They're not going to let us through, I can already tell. So we're going to turn right here. But yeah, there's a lot of people there. Wow, you guys. This is the perfect day. This is the perfect day to be out there in a t-shirt, you guys. I mean, that freedom of, of, of not being scrunched up and bundled up is just, it's a great feeling. When I used to live in Colorado for two years, um, these months were great because I would, I'd wear, you know, shorts skiing. Like, no, no joke, I'd wear shorts going skiing. I wasn't someone who went on the crazy runs though I just liked going fast and so I didn't really fall that often so I didn't worry about it too much but now we're on Thrush this is the exit street for Snow Summit Ski Resort and over here is Pine Summit it is a big big camp area Huge, huge, huge area. You know what? You know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna take you guys on the back streets to get from here to the village and we're gonna go through the village and then we'll end the video there. So we're gonna turn left here on Brownie Lane. Where that black car is up ahead, that's Big Bear Boulevard. So we're gonna turn on Brownie Lane. Let me see if, uh... hang on a second. Hey baby. I was actually showing people the Weather Channel app on my phone and then your text message about haircuts came in, LOL. Anyhow, I love you very much. I will get back to you as soon as I'm done doing the video. I'm just gonna drive through the village for the last part of the video and then I will give you a buzz, my darling. I love ya. Okay. 
Okay, so from Brownie Lane, it dead ends right here, you guys. You can either turn right or left on Ren, W-R-E-N. We're gonna turn left. Once again, this is a shortcut to get to the village, okay, you guys? From Moon Ridge, you can take Brownie Lane. Brownie Lane is catty corner to Walgreens. This saves you a lot of time, you guys. Once again, I get a bunch of uh, heck for helping you guys out like that. But ultimately, I know you guys are very respectful. You're not gonna be speeding through these neighborhoods. Um, you're not gonna be trashing it. I'm not worried about it. You guys are my people, you guys are my family. And I'm gonna give you the best experience possible while you're here. And as I said, some people just do not like that. <laughs> it's, 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 it's kind of sad, but it is what it is. Just come up here with your head high, shoulders back, with pride knowing that because of you guys, we get to live here, even some of the some of the angrier folks. They don't realize that. I, I sure do, though. Okay, so now we are on Eureka, and now we're turning right on Oak. Okay, so when we were on Wren, we turned right on a street called McWinney. McWinney. M-C-W-H-I-N-N-E-Y. And then it curves around and turns into Eureka. And then Eureka ends at Oak Street. You want to turn right on Oak, which is what we are driving on right now. Let me see about uh, getting the map up here. Maps. I wonder if it'll populate on my screen. Oh, some, some, some good news also. Unfortunately, well, it's good news and bad news. In this car, it has the internet availability as well. So what I ended up doing was trying to see if AT&T would allow me to like merge my 2023 Subaru and my 2019 to use the same service because I paid $200 for unlimited data um, in the other car, my new car. And they said, unfortunately, I have to set up a whole, whole new account. So today I just uh, put on my credit card, which was really frustrating me because I've been paying them off for so long. I, I put $200 more on another credit card to give this car full internet access just so we can do live feeds um, in a lot of parts of this town without having any worries. Because I want to do that for you guys. For this next storm, we're definitely going to use it for the first time. I'm excited about that. Very excited about that. Okay, we're on Pennsylvania Avenue. And once again, guys, I, I know I don't shut up. I know I don't. But it, it feels like you guys are right here with me. It's a great feeling. You guys make me feel so good inside. I am I am ex extremely grateful for you all. And I just hope you're, you're all having a, a wonderful day. Thank you for putting up with me. I'm a very lucky man. My beautiful Subaru. I'm so glad to have my baby back. I didn't want to have to get that other Subaru, but for, for the channel, I needed something. And then it was such an impulsive decision to get that. I mean, I stress on that payment every month. I'm thinking there's a chance I might end up selling this in the next year. Um, as I said, it, it was in a minor accident. It, it, it was just cosmetic damage. So they 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 replaced the bumper and the headlights and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if like anyone would, would be interested on the channel to buy this bad boy. I'll keep the train horn on here for, for you guys. It's got a two inch lift. I'll throw in both the sets of tires. But yeah. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We are on, on Village Drive. Pennsylvania turns into Village Drive. We're gonna drive around. This is the village, the cross streets in the center of the village. We're gonna drive around here and pull out next to Oakside Restaurant to do the whole Village Drive. And then we'll be done with the video, guys. That was cool, that guy recognized me. I, th I think I recognized him as well. I just love getting love like that. It feels so good.
Okay. So we're gonna turn in here. This is the parking lot for Oakside and other village locations. Hang tight. Okay. Just got some really bad news on a phone call. My wife's family are just derelict and they were watching my wife's, our dog that you saw in the video yesterday and the dog got away. And my wife is just absolutely beside herself because that dog just runs and runs and runs. And it's in Whittier in that with all due respect like it's 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 just it's just hell down there oh my gosh and now her family is mad at her because she's she's flipping out because they're so irresponsible and and didn't do what they were supposed to do watching the dog you guys please 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 pray please pray for us oh my gosh please pray please pray for us oh my gosh I am, I am so upset right now. It's just, it's just so, so irritating. I have nothing nice to say right now, so I'm not gonna say anything. But anyway, fudge. I, I just can't, I, I can't believe it. My wife is freaking out. reason why I never go down with my wife to go see her family this just gives me more reason to not of course they didn't do, they they didn't do it on purpose but they don't listen to anything my wife says Theo is the little brown doggy he's my favorite one Unbelievable. So sorry to bring the mood down, but I'm about to explode. I might even drive, drive down there, even though I don't know what driving two hours will do. All right, guys, this is gonna be it. We are leaving the village right now. As I said, please, please pray that she she finds little Theo. He had just got back from, from, from the groomer. Oh, man. This is gonna be a long talk my wife and I are gonna have about completely cutting off that family. Most of them, at least. How dare they yell at her and get upset with her because they screwed up. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I love you guys. Please, please keep keep us in your thoughts. I'm sorry that this, this video ended like this. I love you guys. Uh, don't worry about liking and subscribing. I, I, I don't really care. I love you guys though. Thank you. It's March 18th, 2023. Calm before the storm.